Hey guys, Omar here for another Fuji X-T20 video. In this video, we're gonna talk about your awesome built-in flash on your Fuji X-T20. It's got a little pop-up flash. And uh, I, for this video, I built this awesome contraption so I could record the back of my screen. $1.47, Home Depot. All right, so one cool feature about the Fuji X-T20 is it has a little pop-up flash. And for the most part, I would never use the pop-up flash. The light that comes from this tiny little flash is usually really harsh. Any kind of small light source is really, leaves very dark shadows and you get that flash kind of look. But really one of the pros is that it, it's there for an emergency. If you're in really dark places or you're in a cave or you're in some crazy nightclub and it's the only option you have, then awesome. A lot of cameras, uh, pro cameras, don't even come with a pop-up flash. You actually have to put a separate flash on there on top of the camera. And what's cool is, you know, the Fuji X-T20 is so small. This, this also is just in a bind, tiny, quick thing instead of having something else in your bag. I myself probably won't use the flash so much, but I made this video so we can sort of learn together like all these videos are about. What can the flash do? What modes does it have? And uh, just see how we can sort of use it if we want to. All right, guys, let's talk about Fuji X-T20's built-in flash. Now, if you're using the built-in flash, first of all, you're crazy. Second of all, uh, you're going to probably have to take your lens hood off. Uh, the lens hood actually blocks the flash and leaves a horrendous shadow everywhere, so you might have to remove your lens hood if it's huge. On my 18-55, to I have to take it off, so try yours. Next thing is to talk about is the Fuji X-T20's flash sync speed. So this is the maximum... Uh, shutter speed that you can shoot flash with before you start to see the actual shutter show up in your pictures. If you shoot over um, the sync speed, you will actually see a black line show up. Now what's cool about the Fuji X-T20, it's defined as 180. That's what that little X is there, but you can actually use it to 250. I've used it to 250 and they, there's no problems with it. So that's a nice little bonus. The other thing you'll notice on your menu, if you go to your flash menu, is something that says sync. This just means that if you have first curtain, uh, <laughs> first curtain sync on, the flash will fire immediately. Okay, so it'll fire and then it, the, the shutter will close afterwards. If you have second curtain sync set for your flash, the curtain will open up, it'll expose the scene, and then the flash will fire at the very end, right before your shutter curtain closes. Now, you don't have to worry about any of this unless you're shooting super slow shutter speeds where you're picking up some ambient light. For example, this train on the, the, train on the top was taken with a first cur curtain, so that means the flash fires, and then you actually see motion trails of the train show up in your photograph. And the bottom of this photograph was taken with second curtain sync. That means that the curtain opens up, it exposes for the train light, and then the flash fires at the very end. So you rarely ever need to use second curtain sync unless you're using some slow uh, motion kind of stuff and you want your, your flash to fire at the very end. Okay, the Fuji X-T20's flash modes. So the flash modes that it has is, um, it has TTL, manual flash, commander mode, and my favorite mode, off. Let's start with TTL. TTL stands through the lens. This just basically means that your camera will fire the flash, check out the scene, work its crazy math, and then shoot another uh, flash really quickly to tell you how much light you need. Okay, so the camera actually picks how much light you need. Now there's actually a couple of different TTL modes that you can pick, and it depends what camera mode you're in. So let's start with the first one, TTL auto. This is actually auto flash. The camera only fires the flash if the camera thinks you need flash. Now, unlike Canon, if you have like a Canon uh, with a pop-up flash and you have an auto mode, if you half hold the shutter, your flash will actually pop up on its own. That doesn't happen in the, on the Fuji X-T20. It doesn't automatically pop up the flash you actually have to have the flash popped up already for flash auto. Now this only works in two camera modes, auto mode, like full, full auto mode, or in P mode. If you don't know what the modes are, just check my video out on the different modes, okay? 
TTL standard works in all the camera modes, and this means you want the flash to, to fire. Okay, so you're deciding the flash is gonna fire, and the camera will decide how much flash will um, fire in standard mode. And the last TTL mode is called slow sync mode. This means that the camera will actually choose a slow shutter speed because it thinks you want to, let's say you're taking a portrait of someone at night and you want some of the lights in the background or like Times Square to sort of show up and then uh, fire a flash on the person, it will pick a slow shutter speed for you to get some of that background in. Okay, so this only works in uh, P mode and in aperture priority mode. Okay, so let's demo TTL mode with Cap here. Now, first of all, let's focus on him here. Whoa, totally focused. I see him because I set my screen. If you go to the little wrench and you go to screen setup, and at the bottom it says preview exposure white balance, you have to turn that off. If I have that on, if I preview exposure, you see how dark it is? If it was a dark environment, I wouldn't be able to focus on there. Uh, so if you want to use your screen uh, or your uh, EVF, you have to make sure that you turn off that preview. And you, it gives you like a nice cool night vision. Uh, so right now I'll take a picture like this so you can see what I'm talking about. And he shows up. I'll hit play. There he shows up totally um, exposed. And then when I go to take the next picture, I don't see him. So menu, wrench, screen setup. Preview exposure off, and now you have some cool night vision. You can actually see and focus and frame your shot, okay? All right, in TTL mode, the camera's gonna think. Right now, I'm in, um, I set my exposure and my aperture, so I am in manual mode. And I'm gonna take a shot here. And it kinda looks very flashy, okay? Now, what's cool about TTL mode is you can dial up or dial down your flash. So right now, let's actually take that. And on TTL, we're actually going to dial that down one stop, just like this. Now, what's cool about exposure TTL compensation is I'm actually going to let me switch my screen back so you can see what I'm looking here. I'm going to change back to preview on. When you use flash, if you want to use flash effectively, um, it's sometimes better if you kind of combine the ambient. So I'm going to try to get in some, some of the light that's in the room here and then use my flash to fill in. That's one thing the pop-up flash is great for. It's like, for like a little bit of fill flash. If you have people that are standing in front of a bright window, you can expose um, for that window and then use the flash to light up their face. Okay, so let's try that now. If you notice my exposure needle over here, my exposure needle, um, you will usually want two or one stop under, so that's bringing your ambient in, and then let the flash just fill in a little bit there. I feel like TTL on just regular zero fills in a little bit too much flash. Okay, so that's TTL. Next, manual mode. The Fuji X-T20 is manual mode, pretty awesome. It works like, um, uh, first of all, it's available in all the powers. The flash is definitely gonna fire. It works like a dimmer switch too. You can raise the power or you can lose the, lower the power. And just know these fractions, each time you go up by one fraction, you're basically doubling the light. Or if you go down, you're actually halving the light. Is that a word? Halving, halving the light, okay? If I switch my flash to the M, now I have flash powers. So let me put it on full just for fun. And we're gonna take a shot. Bam! Okay, so now if you can see, he's obviously overexposed, but I can use the manual flash kind of like a dimmer switch. Let's try eighth. He looks kind of cool there. Let's check him out. Yeah, he looks pretty nice and dramatic. And if you want a little less light, 16th power, there he goes. Now there are no third stops for the flash like there are for more advanced flashes. And the other, the last mode is the X-T20's commander mode. Now the commander mode is actually set up to control Fuji's flash system. So you can actually tell other flashes what to do, but you can use the commander mode to fire any other kind of flash if you set those flashes to optical slave. So flashes like the Canon 
uh, system or even the Paul C. Buff Einstein or any other studio flashes, they can actually see other flashes and fire. So you can use your little pop-up flash to fire optical slaves. Kind of comes in handy if you have a flash lying around and you want to fire it across the room. Uh, so that's another way you can use your pop-up flash. You know, we should try these tests on an actual person. And my daughter is here. She's homesick today. She's got strep throat. I don't know if she'll help me, but let's go find out. Here she is. She's pretty sick, but let's see if she'll help us. Hun, you want to help us make a video? Mm. It's on the Fuji X-T20's flash function settings. Okay. Yay. Ah, oh, but you still have your pajamas on. Wait, Dad. Hey, thanks! Let's go! Okay, so we got the kid in the corner. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> it's always better to not use flash, especially this tiny little uh, pop-up flash is very harsh. It's such a small light source that it's pretty tough on your subject. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna shoot an ambient picture of the kid. So let's shoot her reading there. Three, two, one. There we go. So we got a nice little ambient Exposure, pretty good there. All right, so the first exposure we have is an ambient exposure. It looks totally nice. So for the first thing, let's say that we wanted more data to come from this window. If you notice behind our kid there, the window is blown out. So let's set our exposure so that we start to see some detail out in the window. So what I'll do is I'll actually make sure that my shutter speed is at the sync speed or lower. So the sync speed on this camera is 1 80th, but it actually works at 2 50th. So you could get away with 2 50 on the camera. We'll put it on 180 and I'm gonna lower my ISO. If you notice as I'm lowering my ISO, I'm starting to see more detail out. <laughs> Maya's saying goodbye, she's <laughs> disappearing. And she's really dark now, but I got some leaves. If you notice, I, got, I can see some leaves in the background. And so now we can actually lower the exposure that was uh, happening in the back of the windows. And now we're gonna use the pop-up flash to fill in a little bit of light in her. Now again, the flash is so tiny that I don't love this look, but let's try it. We'll pop up our flash. And now we are shooting in TTL mode. Once you're in TTL mode, that means the camera is gonna shoot out a pre-flash. It's gonna take an exposure and then the camera will de decide how much light to, to shoot. So let's have it at TTL and our exposure compensation for the flash is on zero. So this is what the camera will do. Three, two, one, pop. Okay, so that shot you have right there, um, if you notice with the shot, we, have, we can actually see trees in the background uh, and we, the, she's still a little dark. Um, can we try that again? Here we go, three, two, one. All right, great, got it, let's check that out. All right, so TTL did a nice job. Her face looks awesome there. The skin is properly exposed and I have some detail out in the background. So that doesn't look too bad. Why are you hiding? I'm hiding. Are you nervous? No. Okay, let's do some TTL uh, compensation. So here on TTL, I can actually brighten up the picture by turning my dial to the right here. And now I have one stop over. Three, two, one, look over. Yay. Perfect. So now it's a little brighter. If you notice, the trees are totally the same exposure and the only thing that changes is the kid. So she'll be totally a little brighter. So you can actually mess around with your TTL flash exposure by going up and going down. Let's just bring it down two thirds. Three, two, one. Got it. Okay, so let's check that out. That looks pretty all right. So she, she looks totally exposed. She, uh, everything looks nice there. The only problem is it has that flashy look. And that's something that is a little annoying. People can tell that you're using flash. So what you want to do is you want to expose, you want the exposures to be a little bit more even. You want your background exposure uh, using your shutter speed and aperture. And then you will just pop in a little flash to fill in the shadows. So let's try that to even it out a little bit more. All right, so I'm going to lower my shutter. Are you getting bored? I'm gonna lower my shutter speed. 1250 ISO, 60th of a second. She's exposed almost all there, but she just needs a little bit more light on her face. Three, two, one. There we go. And let's check that out. Well, that's not too bad, except I lost all the detail in the window. 
So you can actually play around with those two. Play around with your background exposure using your shutter speed and aperture, and then you can actually raise and lower your TTL flash. Let's show you the coolest mode on the Fuji X-T20 is the commander mode. If you happen to have a flash uh, that can, you know, most flashes have a mode where if they see another flash, they will completely fire. Okay, so let's say that you're shooting maybe a birthday party in this room and you don't want, you know, there's people like all around the room and you don't want to keep, uh, because the best way to shoot flash like this is to bounce it off the ceiling so it's nice and soft but you don't wanna have it on top of your Fuji. It's too big, it's bulky, you have to keep swiveling the hand around. So what you could do is put this in a corner somewhere and the little pop-up flash can actually tell that flash to fire off. So if a room is kind of dark, it can fire and light up the room as, you, um, as you're taking pictures. So let's do that right now. I'm gonna turn on this flash and I'm going to put it in S1 mode. This is a young Yo 564 and I'm going to just put it here so it points up to the ceiling and we're going to take another picture of the kid. All right, kid, you're up here. Three, two, one. And it just lights it up a little nicer, okay? So the commander mode is fun to play with too if you have a flash and you want to put it in a corner. Okay, one way you can soften your flash is by using a piece of paper. The only problem is this flash is not that powerful so you'll have to raise your ambient a lot, okay? So we're not gonna pretty much get the window that we want there. So let's raise it just about that much. Let's say 800 and let's lower our shutter speed. There we go. Now let's keep it at 125 so she's still dark. Oh, look at, she's exhausted. She's exhausted. Here we go. Got a piece of paper. Three, two, one, we're bouncing. All right, all right. I'll do one direct, here we go. Okay, so you can see the difference between direct flash and bouncing flash. Just know that you're gonna need a little higher ISO if you're bouncing with a piece of paper. You can kind of uh, just, you know, MacGyver your little pop-up flash and work around it. All right, a big thank you to Cap and my little girl for helping out with our little flash video. It's nice to know that we have this little flash on the Fuji X-T20. I don't think I would use it that often. The light that comes out of there is very flashy. <laughs> And it's not really my style, but it's good to know that if you're in a dark zoo or if you're in a dark club, or I don't go clubbing anymore. It's good to know that you have that option just to pop it up. TTL works totally fine. The camera thinks pretty well. I would do, um, if you are beginner to flash, I would try to get the room ambient to show up and then use your flash instead of trying to get this little flash to light up a whole room. Raise your ISO, that'll let in more room light and practice. Just start practicing, photograph, you know, stuff on your table, uh, people around your house, just annoy them. <laughs> if your pop-up flash does not pop up, just check your menu settings. You have to make sure that your sound settings are not set to silent. Anyway, I hope that helped you guys uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Flash, flash video. Bubs, uh, bubs. <laughs> God. Have your pajamas are still on. I know. Eh, cut. What? <laughs> you messed up your line. Oh, I oh.